Let's rip some. That I need to avoid, if we can avoid that somehow. Is that the miss? That's a toey miss. And I don't know if that's swing or... Does low spin left the miss? I know, but it goes far. I can play that shot on command. So like if I just aim for the right Here's rough. Here's another one right here. So stealth plus, or stealth two plus. LS for us is gonna be similar. We get to look at an X, it's a little more stable. That's the one we had you in, because like I said, your good ones are good, but then your, your miss is a low bad. spin. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then you have to like try to cut it to keep spin on it. From what I remember, I think it might've been a nine degree. I mean, I just remember that these drivers were nice. Been, but it also depends a lot on the shaft. Do you like that hazardous shaft? I do like the shaft. That. I think I need like an extra stiff shaft. So what's interesting though is you play a 70, so it's, you like to play a little lighter and still extra stiff in the irons, but you play- Well, honestly, like just try me out. Yeah. So X, weight back, 10 and a half, and then same exact shaft that you play. But like you hit the draw, but that left miss is kind of the, the scary one, right? The left miss is the scary one. Yeah. Correct. Cause that's like a toey hook that you're like, what is going on with my life? Yeah, fair enough. But still 280 is so nice. Once again, I think for driver, the biggest thing for me is managing those misses. Yeah. Fell right then. Probably cause your, your toe is more like you're used to towing it. So it kind of barely off the heel feels healy. Um, Why did it go right? Face um, open. Yeah. Open. Well, face and path are zero like to each other. You're slightly in now, you're slightly open face. Basically, okay. it's just dead straight push. <laughs> I don't mind that, to be honest. I mean, good ones are good. I mean, just the, the, the big one, yeah, if we can minimize that. I mean, yeah, sometimes it's just a bad swing, but yeah, we all have bad swings, don't we? Yeah, if it's a big miss, that's probably, <laughs> yeah, that's the last one we just gotta leave it up to you. Rest so of the numbers, we're in a good spot. I mean, definitely more stable than yours, but not anything different. Uh, we want the ball speed up. I probably want to bring your launch and spin down. Spin's okay, actually. You know, couple that with a high launch. Yeah. I would want to bring that launch to like at least 14 or less. Shaft felt good though in that head? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's keep you same shaft. We'll stay in the X for one more and then we'll go to the LS. We're gonna go all the way down to nine degree, just as is. We can try somewhere I swing really hard and see if the head holds up. I mean, that's kind of the goal is find a build, like I said, that you trust enough to swing harder at. Just give me what Kyle Berkshire plays. Only thing with the less loft is the good ones will be better, but if our concern is that low left, those get a little lower spin too. High toe? A little bit, yeah. but I mean, it went straight. Give me one more here and then we'll take a break and uh, I do want you to try LS. Shit shot. I, I don't like this one, to be honest. Yeah. You see less loft and yeah. it just invites the left more. Yeah. Compared to yours, the 10 and a half lofted down, it's a more stable version of what you play. I, LS probably makes more sense. If low left is your concern, there's more anti-left I can do in this head than I can do okay. in the, the X. I mean, I, I don't know. First setup was the best. I mean, it was... So far, yeah. Yeah, yeah, pass fine. It's just right now you're getting a little like up on it and shutting. I, I don't want this club. I don't know if this is the one that you thought, but... No well, idea. Well, it's kind of in between. Let me give you I don't know what one the last thing last for left. Are. Let me give you a little different setup. So this is probably the setting you'd want to play if this driver can work. The X is pretty good, and then we'll just look at a little bit of tweak on the uh, on the shaft. We'll just go straight into this is your shaft, just a little lighter. Toe weight to basically just take out left as much as we can. Yeah, it felt a little bit better. Yeah, it's back into the profile that you play. Yeah, that was low heel. So that's better, that last one. So when I say attack angle, like you were six up. Long drive, those are the guys that are like seven to 10 up. Goes far, but it also is hard to control. Tour guys, they're always keeping it under five. So it just means you get a little two up on it at times, and that just invites, that it's a, that's the two way miss, is you can block it right, and you can just low left everything, so. Yeah, maybe you have too much of a shoulder lean. Yeah, just feel like you cover a little more. Just get to like five. That last one is really good. That one felt actually pretty nice as a swing. 
That's why low spin drivers for you, even though like they're more fade bias generally, are not great. I, looking at that data, like your path was zero, you struck it good, just high, you just shut the face. So the only reason it looks so bad is because the spin's so low that the spin axis just goes from like slight to like this. Yeah. Kind of falls and goes really hard. No, I, I did enjoy that build. This is the numbers since we went back to it and you can kind of switch things up. So we're in a good spot. That's your thing, when driver goes bad and you start seeing like snappy low spin and, and blocks, it's probably because you're just too far underneath like going really up. Cause you're past zero, like you're not dumping it way into out. It's just hard to time the bottom of the arc, you know, hitting on a tee if your club's basically like doing this, yeah. the impact, so. Draw, straight, cut, little big swing. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, definitely sounded a little toey or a little high in the high face. High in the face, for sure. The fact that it stayed right on that miss and 311. Is that actually 311? Yeah, low spin. Yeah, you got a little low spin because of the kind of strike, but. Okay. I mean, I went for a straight ball, but that's a good miss. Yeah, that's the miss we want to see. I want for you to sure. right side of the fairway at that distance. Right Your dispersion's now? 45 yards wide. That's pretty elite. Pull. That's, That's not a bad flight though. If I'm trying to play a fade and it pulls, I'm like low key okay with that. Yeah. L like I said, I'm just like, you're right, the dispersion. Gosh, that's fucking big in my opinion. Yeah. No, Might not be though, but. Not a little more spinny, but I mean. Holy high. Yeah. You just gotta remember though, like that's, why this is more stable is your miss is gonna be just kind of. 110 bad. though. Yeah, there we go. So we got 110 covered. Let's see if we got the 160 ball covered. I will say this, this shaft versus the other one, it's more right. Start lines in dispersion, it's the most anti-left build we've had so far. I, I haven't, I haven't, I mean, if we look at all the like path, I don't think we've had one left. No, even the pull, pull, even the pull cut, but the pull cut was a straight ball. Yeah, this is a hard comparison dispersion because it's like 15 shots versus six. Yeah. But like the furthest left you've hit this. This one that I have in my hand? Yeah, it's 28. But like you look at the rest of these. That first four was when you were still working on the swing. Is that where it ends up or where I'm? Yeah, yeah, that's just, yeah, I mean, two yards right of the line. I feel like I've hit some good draws that come back to the middle. But those are obviously the low ones, like the two, the eight. So literally eight out of the 10 are either gonna be a perfect draw or a little bit of a right push. So we talk about sighting, well, that's just where the ball's starting. Between the two shafts, right? Speed, spin, launch, identical. If our miss goes 285, we're okay with that. And that ball speeds up now too. And that was like a stock swing. I'm just getting used to swinging harder. Yeah. Because I know it's not going to miss left. Yeah. Everything really else good. looks pretty decent. No, it's awesome. It's the one that you're, it's keeping your face the most right. So that start line, and then that allows you to move path left. So when you, the issue when you pull it is, yeah, your path goes left. But the but hood closes. The face, yeah, 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 your the face, face goes closes. left. It shuts. So if this face is already right, now you can go left, you can go in more, whatever you want to do. You're going to be a right side golfer, so. Yeah, uh, dark speed X, 10 and a half, weight back just for stability and spin, minus one, because you know we want to bring that launch back to a good window. And then the Hazards Black 6.0, which is kind of like stiff, pretty firm profile. And then 60, we just saw the, the lighter one versus yeah. the 70, you swung it faster. Yeah, it felt nicer too. Cool.